Hello Scorpios, this is an X reading for you guys for the 3rd through the 9th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Oh, we got some cards that jumped out there. Let's see what they are. We have, oh, let's see, the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like you guys are not trying to accept anything less than what you feel like you truly deserve here. I'm going to put these cards back in here. This is you. You're waiting on something and you're not budging from that. You know what you deserve and you're defending your position here. Because here you are as the Empress. You know what you deserve. Hmm, I like it. Let's see what's going on in the recent past for you guys. Communication, traveling, extending invitations, just doing a whole lot of, um, I feel like, mingling. Okay? Interacting with someone or people in general. Going on vacation, traveling. Let's see the other person. Oh, all right. Got a King of Swords there and something else that jumped out. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is Gemini all day long. This is, this is somebody that can talk their way out of anything talk their way into anything Scorpios hmm. you guys have got something on your hands with this person now I say they're a bad person but they have the gift of gap okay let's see where you guys are right now oh I think you've I feel like you found the person of your dreams here with that star card, Aquarius energy, maybe an Aquarius person even. All right, Sagittarius, you found the person of your dreams. You've been communicating with them. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel like this person is really trying not to be that emotional. I don't really feel like they're closed off. I feel more so that this person is trying to save money. Is what I'm getting. They're trying to save money. And there's possibly somebody else that is in their energy that is closed off with them, but trying to also get their attention is what I'm getting. This is what you want. I think you want this person. You'll do whatever it takes to get this person. I don't think you're trying to argue. I think you are like, you know, this is my person. I'm going to fight for them. Because I, I, I think you kind of, you may know of somebody. Maybe it's an ex of, of this person. But um, I don't think you're trying to lose them at all. This person wants to be successful. I feel like there is some... Um, Either this is um, something to do with money um, in a job, being recognized for your efforts, trying to um, get a promotion possibly, um, trying to hold on to your money or their money rather, and just trying to be successful in um, whatever endeavors they are pursuing, I feel. I don't really get that this person's involved with anybody for sure. I think it's more so on your part, Scorpios, that there's something that you've realized about this person and that you're willing to to fight for them. Something I wanted to flip there. Let's see what you guys need. I 
I feel like you need stability. I feel like um, there's probably a need for you also to concentrate on what's most important for you is what I'm getting. And I know that this person is important to you, but I think it goes beyond that. I think it goes more towards if there's something in your life that needs your focus right now, there's a need for you to concentrate on that because, you know, concentrating on that will also probably bring um, what you need to do in this connection with this person in better focus. Okay. It's just what I'm getting. Let's see what they need. Yeah. Um, I think this person is working mostly on their um, their savings, their money, their um, their coins. You know. And I think they use. I think they use their gift of gab, like I said, to, um, to make money. I think they are noticed by a lot of people. I think they are, they probably help a lot of people. They probably have a gift that they deliver to people, whatever that may be. But we also know that they have a gift of gab, so they they use their their um, their speaking ability to to help people, and in turn, that is something that's going to be very lucrative for them, and they will get to a point where they are. They are ready, like ready and willing to settle down and have this Ten of Pentacles with you. Virgo energy is here as well, okay? So I think there's a need for both of you to kind of work on your finances, work on, you know, other things in your life. Um... I don't really see that you guys have like the breakup part of it. I just, both of you are, are in like this calm state of being right now is what I'm feeling. Their focus is just mainly on getting their shit together like, you know, financially it feels. Let's see. Hmm. And the outcome, let's say you have the Knight of Swords. And I strongly feel like this is the individual that you are dealing with, Aquarius in energy, where they actually come in and verbalize to you that they, they know that you guys have a connection and they want to have something solid and um, stable with you, okay? Let's see what is their outcome. Hmm. They're going to follow their their heart for sure. Again, like I said, I feel like the person that you're dealing with is going to extend an invitation that they really would like to have a new start at some point. Okay. And I strongly feel that way. Let's see, we have Aquarius, like I said, Capricorn energy, Leo energy. Um, there's Virgo here, Sagittarius. But um, it could be any sign, you guys. It does not have to be those signs. But um, that's just the energy I see present, okay? All right, my Scorpio, so that is what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.